this is just a quick introduction to a uh, mirror video by Jut the Drunk Monkey, um, and it's based on Nathan Roberts. Um, yes, Nathan Roberts, as we know, uh, somebody that uh, Simon Dan covered some time ago. Yes, and he's the guy that was ripping up children's science books. Um, it features some swearing, but um, I've bleeped it out because um, I don't have swearing on my channel. Um, so I've left a link for Jut the Junk Monkey's uh, channel uh, in the description below. And it also features the sarcastic barman, um, sarcastic barman. Um, so his link's below as well. So you subscribe to them. Um, and if you don't, you're an idiot. So here it is. Now, the first time I saw this dumbass cretin drag his ass out from under a stone, he'd filmed himself doing a very weird and antisocial act in public. Right here, this right here is lies and propaganda. So if you ever want to buy a children's book in space, then this is how I propose you do it. You get it off the bookshelf by first ripping it up, and then you buy it. Personally, I'd like to sit this messed up moron down in a room that contains every single copy of this. His very own destruction of a small part of a forest somewhere, so he can find yet another way to spread his machinations and <laughs> Once I've got Nathan <laughs> for brains sitting uncomfortably in front of what's left of them poor trees stained like <laughs> to a carpet of his utter I'd then begin to tear every single page from every single copy of The Doctrine of the Shape of the Earth by Nathan Knobcheese Robert and shove them all page by page down that pit he calls his mouth, hopefully blocking it once and for all. Alright, so I tried to do this video once before and it failed, mainly because reception issues. I'm out here taking a jog in my neighborhood and I'm trying... To... Oh, you f idiot. You don't go out for a run, then stop to make a video. You don't have the brain power. Your brain's still got a mile after run to catch up. I tell you what, take a seat, let your brain cell catch up, because I got someone who wants a word with you. See if I can get a focus on the moon. But uh, if you're if you're outside tonight, go take a look. It's a almost a full moon. I don't know if it is exactly a full moon, but it's pretty stinking close, that's for sure. So anyways, that that uh, moon right there, it debunks, whether people know it or not, it debunks the globe Earth. Yeah, my life, Monk. I've, I've come to the conclusion you don't like me. Is this, is this punishment for my last collab? So now I have to deal with this twat who thinks the Earth is flat, but also that the moon debunks it. The thing we visited. Uh, I think you're right, his brain cells still catching up run. Sorry barman, I've just heard back from the producer, Nathan f Robert's brain cell has just been run over by a car. Apparently it didn't know the green cross code, so this is not going to be easy. Good luck mate. Oh god, right, come on then, spill the beans, why does the moon debunk the earth? On so many different levels, including its motion, and uh, the, the energy that comes off of it, um, the visibility of it, all these things are problems. Also, biblically, we know that Jesus even said that the moon shall not give her light, speaking of end time prophecy, meaning that the moon has its own light. All right, I think we're going to have to have a bollocks counter for this, aren't we? So, first bollocks, the moon's own light. No, we know the moon reflects sunlight we can use a spectrograph to check that is it a spectrograph i'm sure it's a spectrograph so come on next load of whereas the heliocentric model says that we're we're uh supposed to be getting a reflection off of the sun from the moon so that that would mean and imply that the moon is not its own light but yet a reflection no you just just covered that so, yes, the moon's a reflection of the sunlight. We mentioned this literally 30 seconds ago. I think I know why you rip up books. Because you can't read. Because otherwise you'd be able to read and know the experiments to check this f fact. But then you've written a book. 
or you've paid someone to write a book for you. I don't know. But either way, it's quite stupid. But that's not the case. You can you can get a laser thermometer and test out on a night such as this. Um, test out like on the road or whatever, some object, some object you can test out and uh, measure the moonlight, the temperature of the moonlight under the shade versus in direct moonlight and what you're gonna find. What you're gonna find is you're a moron who doesn't understand all, but carry on, I'll point out your cups afterwards. Is the direct moonlight, the temperature is cooler than under the shade, which is just the inverse and opposite of what you'd expect from the light of the sun. So if it was the light of the sun, it should be operating as the light of the sun, but it's not, because it's not the light of the sun. Right then, for sake. First things first, it's a reflection of the sunlight. It's not direct sunlight, is it? You know that direct light is always more powerful than reflected light. Jesus Christ, a light. Next thing, being in the shade. Right. During the daytime, being in the shade is better because it's cooler. At night, being in the shade traps the heat because it doesn't have as much space to radiate out to. It's like, what's normally warmer? A cloudy night where it's been sunny all day or a clear night when it's been sunny all day? You'll find that the cloudy night after a sunny day is going to be slightly warmer because the cloud is trapping in the heat. Not that the moonlight is making things colder, you moron. Oh... Come on, next. Um, also, you know, it's supposed to be, what, 248,000 miles away? It's also over 1,767 kilometers across. What's your point? And all of a sudden, recently, it's now in our own atmosphere. Well, now I know you're a moron, because you obviously don't understand the solar winds, the blowing of our atmosphere, and how the moon is in our atmosphere. Ugh. I don't know if you anyone caught that, but that's amazing. Either the moon got closer, which they don't say that, or our atmosphere expanded. Or to quote Jut Monk, you're just a f plum. So now it's in our atmosphere, the moon is, allegedly. But also with the moon, when you watch how it moves, you see it moving in a circular motion with the face of the moon always remaining the same. No one anywhere on the face of the earth is able to see a different side of the moon than what's presented to everyone. Did, did you not pay any attention in school? The term is tidally locked. For f just give me something here, otherwise I'm going to throw you back to Jut Monk and he'll rip you to shreds more than I will. Christ a light. So it is moving, yes, in a circuit, and it's also moving, like maybe spinning like this, with the face staying and remaining the same, but it's not rotating on an, like, like, um, like spinning so that we can't, so that we can see other sides, the other side of the moon. It's not happening. Now, you said before, this is your second time trying to record this video outside, because you got crap signal last time, so you've obviously planned this out in your head. Did you not plan what you were going to say, so there wasn't so much, um, a bleh, uh, and cocking up of words, and not being anywhere near intelligent enough to pronounce things? I mean, I can get away with it. I look stupid, and are usually drunk, but... I are not smart. You are should be smart if you are wanting to be your thingy, my bobby. We're always seeing the same side. Uh, so it's a lot of problems for the globe, the globe Earth model. There's no problems. You're just a f moron. In respect to the moon, with what we can see, especially when you got like a P900 or a P1000. You can zoom in on that thing like meticulously and I can't zoom in on anything with my camera that's more than I don't know to get any good detail anyways anything that's you know ten, tens 
of miles away. Oh god, where to start? Right, P1000, P900, yes, very good cameras. And as for not being able to zoom in for any detail on things tens of miles away, well, would that possibly be because of the uh, curve of the earth and you can't actually see them that well? Or are you on about mountains, these big, quite tall things? Um, when was the last mountain you saw that was 1,700 kilometres tall? Oh, you haven't seen a mountain 1,700 kilometres tall? Because that's how wide the f***ing moon is. And yes, it's 250,000 miles away, but it's still f***ing large across. And what are you saying for good details? Are you zooming in to see individual boulders? Because I don't think you are. I think you're looking at craters that are 10, 20, 30, 40 miles across. So, uh, yeah. You're just an idiot. You know, so like maybe 50, 60 miles. And that's with the P1000. That's with a really good camera. My life. On that note, I'm going to give him back. Yes, go just go show me a picture from 60 miles away. Go to the beach and show me a boat 60 miles away with your P1000. Because you said you can only just get detail then, so you should be at least to see the boat. Oh, for, you, you're a moron. You, you can have him back. Jesus Christ, you owe me a pint for this. A pint, barman. I can do better than that. You're going to need a bottle of Jack Daniels to whack down and self-medicate after listening to that twat. I'll tell you what, let's hear him close his video with his proof that puts the globe to bed, shall we? And I've got a few words to say on it. But yeah, you can zoom in on that moon. You can see intricate details of the surface of the moon. Oh, you're not still banging on about your bloody camera. How about you go out and buy a telescope? You know, one of them instruments that's actually designed to look at celestial bodies like the moon? Then tell me how much detail you can see, you f***ing knob cheese. Or whatever we're looking at up there. What? Are you on drugs? I mean, you haven't actually bloody shown us what you're looking at. For all I know, you could be off your tits on crystal meth. I mean, this isn't the behaviour of a normal, level-headed human being. Here is lies and propaganda. So if you ever want to ch buy a children's book in space... So just hurry up and finish your piece of video with the incoherent ramblings coming out of your trap that you shouldn't be able to see if it was 248,000 miles away. What planet are you on where there's laws that state that you can't see something at that distance? So you got visibility issues. Is that it? Is that your debunk of the globe? We shouldn't be able to see it at that distance. We've got visibility issues. You've got visibility issues, mate. You need glasses or lay off that crystal meth. By your logic, sorry, wrong word, by your delusion, I could just say I'm a millionaire to impress a girl, take her out, wax an entire month's salary for her to wake up and find out I'm full of Are you getting me, bro? You're full of You got the way that it moves is an issue for the globe. You got the, the type of light that comes off of it is an issue for the globe. Polaris is an issue for flurfs. Sunsets are an issue for dumbass flurfs. Eclipses are an issue for you morons. And there's no way anyone ever went to the moon because the alleged um, Van Allen radiation belts, right? Sorry, did you say they didn't go to the moon because of the alleged Van Allen radiation belt? Do you realize how stupid that sounds? If the Van Allen belt was the reason they did not go to the moon, then it wouldn't be alleged, would it? Besides, you're wrong on both counts because we did go to the moon passing through the Van Allen belt. Now here's a little fact for you. A smoker of tobacco is exposed to thousands of times more radiation than those brave astronauts that passed through the Van Allen belt. So somehow those act astronauts went through it without having any issues in their life. Oh, I've just explained this to you, you globe-denying, reality-refuting f***ard. 
You just pick up shit like radiation and run with it without realizing, as I said, a smoker is exposed to thousands of times more radiation. And apparently that's part of the reason why we can't get back to the moon. <laughs> it's crazy. It's not crazy. You're f crazy. And for that reason, I don't want to hear another word out of your dumbass mouth. Goodness knows where you got that from we can't get back to the moon because inside of 10 years we'll be back on the moon destroying your dumbass ridiculous deluded fantasy once and for all well thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed and a little bit from the uh, sarcastic barman there i'll leave a link to his channel go over and check him out if you haven't already please like subscribe and share to my channel and i will see you all soon for another moron